<laughs> Keep on going. Uh -huh. The viewers want to know how to blow a balloon. <laughs> Out yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. So uh, today I'm back with uh, three new experiments. Okay. So uh, it involves, as you might see, balloons and another three balloons, a needle with a thread attached to it, some water, and a weird-looking magnet. Where where does that magnet come from? It actually comes from a hard disk drive from uh, an old computer, which I... Actually, I have a video on uh, how I got it out. Uh, it's named something something, I don't know. It's Perfect. on my channel. channel. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna start out with these balloons. Really nice looking balloons, they're purple and all. Uh, but as you might see, they're a bit darker purple up here. And that's because they have stronger rubber up here and what can you do with some dark rubber and a needle oh yeah uh, you can do the same as if you'd use a balloon a needle and uh, plaster or some tape or something you know you have all seen the experiment we put it in and it won't explode but we'll take this to the next level okay like this <laughs> It's really important that you do it on the dark parts because otherwise it will explode. I'll show you later. But anyways, just stick needle carefully. Oh. Mm. This is it's gonna blow. This one was Okay, it's oh. in now. As you might see. Uh, I don't know if I want to see, but okay, the camera yeah. can see. Hopefully it won't explode. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so it's in. Nothing weird with it. It can explode. I'll show you right here. Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> so uh, nothing weird with the balloon. Anyways, if you do this with a bigger needle, it will be even funnier because you can stick it all the way through here to here if uh, you like, want to. Like a knitting ne needle. Exactly. Okay. So anyways, now I'll show you what the thread is for. Okay. Okay. We'll go over there. So to begin with, I'll just show you how the needle would act without the perks of this thread like this you see and what happens if I throw it against the wall now well that happens that, that was kind of uh, expected wasn't it yeah exactly okay. <laughs> uh, so now what happens if you use the thread as a stabilizer well then this happens Ooh. It sticks to the wall. That was kind of cool. Yeah. I've seen this on the ninja movies. They have uh, on the uh, some of them have uh, on a small throwing knife. They have some kind of uh, silk band on it. Yeah, exactly. Probably for the same reason, or just because they look nice. What do I know? <laughs> but you can use it. I don't think the ninjas the care if they. Well. I don't think the ninjas care if their knives looks spiffy or not. Okay. No more throwing in the in the ceiling, Noah. Well, please. Yeah, and uh, ask your parents for uh, whatever it's named first. <laughs> uh, allowance. Per permission. Per permission, exactly. <laughs> ask your parents for permission first. Okay. Otherwise, they will probably be mad because <laughs> there's hole everywhere in the walls. Okay, so the the hole in the walls wasn't actually that big. It, it was very nah, very they're small. Re they're really small. Mm. They're the size of a needle tip. So, uh, anyways, we won't uh, need this anymore so we'll just cut it off like this ah, okay just kidding some f whatever we can let that sit there uh, it won't affect what I'm going to do now so what are we now we'll use this weird looking magnet okay and we'll magnetize the needle like this and why is that uh, because we will use it as a compass, a homemade compass. I'll show you soon. So first, I'll show you right here on the dishwasher that the needle is magnetized. Actually, it isn't. 
<laughs> it is because. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll try again. See how it goes. Okay. So you see like this. It tries to stick to the washing machine. Yes. And I'm even pulling it away right now. Cool. So we'll use this paper. It's some uh, envelope paper because they're usually stronger than normal paper, so it won't stick after water and sink. So we'll put the needle on there, mm -hmm. and uh, it will work as a compass. However, lift the bowl with water first because right now it works. It's pointing to north, which is actually it's not where. Oh, okay, it's turning right now. So this point will be pointing at north. Yeah, because the needle got the plus and the minus side on to right now. Yeah, so you can see that it's pointing to north right now. Cool. Which is that way, which is kind of cool. Uh, and maybe you should say why it doesn't. We can put it down. Yeah, exactly. If I put it right here, it will spin another way, as you might see, because under here is our dishwasher, and it has a motor to spin the watery thingy in the <laughs> dishwasher right under here, which also has a big magnet to drive the motor around. Uh, therefore, the needle wants to uh, connect with that magnet. And you can also use this magnet again to steer the needle around. Anyways, why is this useful, you might wonder. Well, if you're stuck in the wilderness, you have a needle for some reason, some paper or leaf or something, uh, you can use it as a homemade compass. Oh, and maybe you won't have access to a magnet in this case, but then you can instead rub the needle against your clothes Giving you, uh, giving it magnetic uh, properties because of the static electricity in your clothes. Oh, and don't rub it with the tip down. Okay, it, it will hurt. I tried that earlier. Not a good idea. So we'll put this on here again. See if it works. And now it doesn't work at all, does it? Wait. Because because the actually it is spinning. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see here. You see, so it turns to north. Yeah, exactly. Time. So that's uh, free needle tricks, right? Yeah, exactly. Free needle tricks and experiments and cool stuff you can do at home, just for fun or if you want to impress someone. What do I know? Anyways, over and out.